We're here with Team Nigeria's Emmanuel Ojeli, who competed in the men's 4x4 and mixed 4x4 relays here at the African Games. And you won a gold and bronze medal. Yes, yeah. So you're not going home empty-handed. How do you feel about that winning two medals here? Uh, it's a dream come true. Uh, first of all, I want to thank God for the for the opportunity. Uh, and I genuinely want to thank everybody that that made it happen. So, yeah. When you were coming here, what were your expectations? Well, my expectation was to run flat, um, at least to better my personal best, but. To the fact that uh, at the nationals i didn't do what i supposed to do at the national i did not make the let me say the standard and i did not like i was not on the in top three so uh, i just i just thank god for everything yeah. you almost didn't make the games because you felt sick at about the time of the trials yeah. how did you feel at that time when it was like man, it doesn't look like i'm going to make this team you know, um, let me say last year, um, I last year, I wish they did the, the competition early last year, same time. I'm not sure I, I would have made it, um, the, 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 this team, what is it called, um, the team, because that last, that last year, I was not, I was not strong as well. So, for uh, missing myself um, at this, at this competition, missing myself in this competition, I like, I just sincerely thank God because, you know, at first, like, I did not know, like, I said, let me just thank God for everything. It's, it's a long story. It's a long story. Well, let's talk about that mixed 4x4 four four relay that has gone viral. Yeah. Nigeria set an African record there. You were part of that team. You ran the first leg. You were also part of the team that ran an African record at the Olympics. How has the experience of being in the mixed 4x4 four four been, especially being part of a team that sets the African record twice? You know, um, every sportsmanship um, wants to be breaking records. That is, that is mainly our goal, to be setting records. So me being part of the, um, part of the African record holder, um, I'm so happy and we have been working so hard to, for me to, to be among the teams and sincerely speaking you know Nigeria, Nigerians like we are strong in the 4x4s and in the mixed relay you know at the, at the Olympics we own the African record so I, I wasn't expecting anybody or any other country to come and take it from us like, like, like I just <laughs> Uh, the experience has been so great, you know. I just, I just thank God for for for, for, for the opportunity, making me to be among the among the best. So the season is still young. We're in March. This is going to be a busy season. We still have the African Championships in June, the Olympics in July. What are your expectations for this season? What would you want to see happen? Um, uh, to be sincere, like as as it stands right now. Um, my goal is for me to compete individual. Uh, I want to compete uh, at the Olympics individual, not just in the relays. So um, the season is just starting, and you guys should just be expecting more from Jelly Fine. You know? yeah. All right. Congratulations once again. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I want to thank. Um, I want to use this opportunity to also thank my coach, Dejaliu, uh, for always believing in me. But, um, and my my friends, my family, uh, my brother uh, Ibizara, for always believing in me. For always say that she just go there, do you know? He always he always love athletics so much, and he always love me so much. So I I just want to uh, make a shout out to him and uh, and Tadora and Tiemi, Bros. Chris. You know they always believe. You know when when they see me in training, they know what I'm capable of doing outside. You know so. I just tell want to thank everyone and they should keep supporting me, you know, and I'll keep making them proud. Thank you very much, Amanda.